Hi and welcome back to the 12 days of autumn writing with me Maria Franklin. We're halfway through the course today, it's absolutely zooming by, I can't believe it. A huge well done if you're managing to keep up with all the daily prompts. Uh, one of the aims of, of this course is to develop um, a regular writing habit for you. Um, it might even be at roughly the same time each day that you uh, manage to sit down and, and respond to the, the writing prompts. For me it's definitely the morning when I feel at my most creative and more able to carve out the uh, the writing time. So joining me on this 12 day journey will hopefully give you the ment momentum to continue when the 12 days are up. Um, and at, at this time you might want to uh, have a look at the, uh, the other free courses I've posted already here on YouTube. As I've already mentioned there are the spring and the summer courses like this one um, but I've also uh, recorded uh, write a novella in 30 days and write a poetry pamphlet in 30 days as well so they're already on here in their entirety um, and as uh, you might imagine because they're a bit longer uh, they're a bit more in depth than this one which is a series of, of writing prompts. Okay so today we're going to look at something called a haiku. So have you heard of a haiku before? It's spelt H-A-I-K-U. So let me explain. Uh, a haiku is a short poem of 17 syllables with five of those syllables on the first line, seven on the second line and five on the third line. Um, so each haiku should offer a, a natural image, uh, so not a man-made image, a natural image and it should imply a season. Um, so you could Google haiku here for a little bit more information on, on the structure. But let me read you um, a couple that I've written. So a little plug for my book. <laughs> Poetry for the newly married 40-something. Um, so in here there's a, a poem which is a series of five haikus called Dating Haiku. That's how they appear on the page. So they're quite nice and symmetrical. Um, so you can see the middle line's always longer because that's got seven syllables on it. Um, for those of you who are unsure what a syllable is, it's just the a part of a sound. So my name, uh, Maria, has three syllables, Maria. So uh, just to clarify that. Okay, so, so five, seven, five syllables. So let me read them out. So here in each haiku, you're listening for where um, a season is implied and a natural image is used. So there's no right or wrong answer. So you might um, come up with a, a different image uh, to the one that I was meant to portray. So dating haiku. Swans glow in the night, gliding through silent waters, waiting for the light. That's the first one. I strain to catch words, whipped away by the wind, only ever an echo. Dew glitters in dawn light. I hope its shine never fades like my hopes for us. Once waving proudly, faded and crumpled, they fall, now trampled and dead. And last one, a darkening sky. I form shapes amongst the stars but can't join them up. So I will just focus on that last haiku before I invite you to write your own. So, a darkening sky, a darkening sky, five syllables on the first line. Second line, I form shapes amongst the stars. So seven syllables there, uh, but can't join them up, five on the last line. So, um, the natural uh, image in that um, haiku is uh, the stars and the sky for that matter and the season I would say implied there uh, is, is winter with the darkening sky and kind of the winter sky as well. It could equally be autumn as well because like the everything starts darkening then as well. Okay, so I find haikus actually really quite addictive. 
um, so this, they don't take too long to write and there's that real sense of achievement after you've written just one. But one's never enough for me, which is why I tend to write a haiku string, uh, as it's called. Um, so perhaps you could do um, three or four autumn ones, since we're on the subject of autumn at the moment. Or you could write one for every season, um, a different one for each season. You don't have to uh, mention which season you're writing about directly. Um, here it's more a case of, uh, of inferring it. Um, so, uh, well, implying it. So natural images rather than man-made ones, as I've already mentioned, are a usual requirement. So here you've already been, you've made some word banks up already to do with uh, autumn. Uh, so you, or you could draw up a new one if you're going to focus on some of the other seasons as well. And if you're proud of the haikus that you write, which of course you should be, uh, don't forget to post them into the Facebook group. Uh, or you could post one because they're so small into the uh, comments box below the video I always love to see them uh, and if you're really really proud which of course you should be um, let me mention the British Haiku Society uh, they run uh, an annual competition inviting the entry of haikus uh, I believe it closes each uh, January so um, that's something to uh, bear in mind. I do think competitions are a great way of building your CV as, as a writer um, and uh, obviously when you, uh, if, if you were to consider ever submitting work to a literary agent or to a publisher, if you've built up um, some uh, a list of competition successes, even if you've just been shortlisted, I say just been shortlisted, it's really great to get shortlisted, uh, it does give you an edge of other writers who are submitting their work as well. So, happy haikus. I hope you enjoy them as, as much as, as I do. Uh, just before I go, um, I'd just like to mention my book launch, um, which I'm holding here, here on my YouTube channel uh, this evening at 7.30pm. It's for my latest domestic thriller, uh, which is called Left Hanging. So I'd really be delighted if you'd join me here at half past seven uh, this evening, preferably with a glass of something bubbly uh, to help me celebrate. So I will be reading from Left Hanging and I'll also uh, tell you about how you can read, uh, how you can read, how you can win one of the, uh, the Yorkshire themed reader goodie bags that I'm going to be giving away. So I'll hopefully see you later, uh, or obviously if you if you're not watching this uh, this video on the 7th of October then the the video for my book launch will already have been recorded and you can watch it back um, and I will also see you tomorrow for another writing prompt bye for now